Thank you, Nadja. Thank you, Hudi. Thank all of you. And thank you, the police uh, who have uh, defended us here today. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we live in a world of lies. Have you heard about UNESCO? Yes. This whole terrorism that we faced recently really started with the UNESCO vote. They say that we're not from here. We're foreigners. We're occupiers. And that starts the whole narrative that says that we're not supposed to be here, so the war against us is a just war, a war of freedom fighting, and not what it really is, with this, which is jihad. That starts there with the lies. We live in a world of fears. We fear to put metal detectors here on the Temple Mount. My friend Dr. Jeff was in the crowd today. He told me the whole world goes through metal detectors because of who? But we can't get them to walk through metal detectors after what they did right here? What a joke! So we live in a world of fears. We live in a world of lies. But today, but today I'm going to talk about truths. Because tonight is Tisha B'Av. It's time to be truthful. The first truth I want to say is that the king has no clothes. The emperor is naked. And of course I'm referring to, you've heard of fake news, right? Have you heard of fake kings? Is a guy named, I'm not even gonna call him king, Mr. Abdullah II over there in the Hashemite kingdom of Jordan. This guy is sitting on our land, what was allotted to be our land originally. He is protected by our military, by our security forces. People don't know that, but actually the West and Israel protects Jordan. His people drink from our water. And he's somehow the custodian of our holiest site. And not only does he drink our water, get our protection, sit on our land, and is the custodian, custodian of our holiest place, he doesn't give us the respect. He doesn't give, he doesn't give us the right to pray on our holiest place. He makes war against us. He's part of that UNESCO thing. He says we're foreigners. He calls this place Haram al-Sharif, Al-Aqsa, every other name. He just doesn't say Temple Mount. I'm here to tell you the truth. He is an illegitimate king. Mr. Abdullah II, so-called king, your grandfather was murdered here by Arabs. Your father lost Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and you will lose your crown for what you have done, for what you have fought against the Jewish people. You will lose your crown, your fake crown that you created for yourselves. So that's one level of truth. But here's a different level of truth altogether. We have a real king. We have a real king. We have a melech. That king has brought us back after 2,000 years of exile. Brought us to our beautiful land given us an incredible army and police force that pushes back the enemies, an incredible economy. Our language is back. Our Torah is back. We have a king. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If we are got a king and we're back in Jerusalem and everything's so honky-dory, then what are we fasting here on Tisha B'Av? Why are you guys fasting here tonight on Tisha B'Av? Why is there Tisha B'Av? The answer, ladies and gentlemen, is that we are so close, but so far. So close, but so far. And that's what we cry about today. That's what we cry about today. There's only two options, ladies and gentlemen. It's either Hashem or the Hashemites. It's either Hashem or the Hashemites. That's all that we can ask for right now. And God says to us the following. He knows us Jews. How many of you, would, maybe not of you in this crowd, but many Jews are liberal, right? Many of us are, we're Jewish, we're liberal. You know, we really see the, 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 the point of the other, other, right Rabbi Glick? Right, we're liberal a little bit, right? Yes we are. And God says when you're living in somebody else's land, don't go after their churches or their mosques. You're living in their land. Respect them. They have a right for their churches, their mosques, even their idolatry. Don't start up with their idolatry. I'm not asking you to do that. Because we're liberal. But when we come back to our land, God says, 
Be liberal with me. Give me a small spot in this world. Give me a tiny place free of crosses and mosques and idolatries. Give me my little Jerusalem so that I can make a light for the world. From this little place, clean it out for me. There's only two options. It's either the Hashem or the Hashemites. Ladies and gentlemen, Hashemites, right. Ladies and gentlemen, may we be Zohar, may we merit tonight to depose the fraudulent kings, the kings of fear, the kings of lies. May we depose those kings and install and crown the King of Kings. Thank you so much.